So after developing the definite time path for the market equilibrium in the dynamic sense, now we talk about the dynamic stability. So um, the dynamic stability is to be judged here and for that um, we will have the same equation that we developed the time path we're talking about the time path that we developed and what we want is that the complementary function which actually shows the deviation it reduces to zero or approaches to zero as the time goes on so uh, let us uh, go through this uh, description we are talking about the time path of the first order differential equation and if it is to converge towards the equilibrium we have to consider that the particular integral is the equilibrium value and for convergence we wish that the deviation from the equilibrium which is represented by PC in this case this deviation part should fade to zero or should approach to zero so the differential equation represents this deviation with PC which we have represented here in more detail this is the PC part that is the uh, complementary function of the equilibrium price so we should focus on PC in order to get this approach to zero and finally the equilibrium the time path will reach to the equilibrium so this is what we are trying to express here that there is a need for the time path that is PT to converge to equilibrium price and that will be possible when the complementary function it approaches to zero as the time moves in forward direction indefinitely you know that time will definitely move in forward direction and it has the tendency to continue so this is why we say that as t approaches to infinity now pc approaches to zero this is what we want and for that we substitute the value of pc now we have to do a little bit of uh, uh, in-depth analysis of the terms involved as you can see that the first part is P naught minus P asteris. So P naught is written as it is and P asteris is written as it is in this red box. But you know that P asteris is actually equal to this cluster of the parameters and all of them are positive and there is no negative sign in this expression. So the answer of this term will be a positive value greater than zero. So it means that we are going to compare the initial price with the equilibrium price and the, if the difference is taken there can be either two possibilities either P naught can be greater or P asteris can be greater. So both of these possibilities are mentioned here. Just to remind you we made both of these possibilities before where this was the equilibrium and the uh, uh, the initial price could have started from above the equilibrium or from the or from below the equilibrium now the exponential part of the expression is here we know that k is equal to j into beta plus delta and all of them are again positive uh, parameters this is why the answer of k will be a positive value so this positive value uh, when appended with this negative value given in the formula will make it a negative exponent which means that there will be exponential decay as the time passes because t is the variable so we can say that it is happening over time so this deviation can be either positive or negative depending upon if p naught is greater than p asterisk or p naught is smaller than p asterisk this will be a certain value of deviation either positive or negative but this expression the exponential part will cause exponential decay 
it means that it will eat away this deviation value and this phenomenon will happen that is they will these deviation either positive or negative the deviation in this case will be positive above the equilibrium and below the equilibrium it will be negative so in both of the either of these cases there will be uh, uh, you know decay and as you can see the the deviation is decreasing as we are going ahead in time so it means that in this given situation we are going to get convergence towards the equilibrium in other words this part that is PC we have explained it in depth you decomposing it into its parts and it is going to approach to zero and when this approach to zero approaches to zero the time path will approach to the equilibrium price which is mentioned here so um, we can summarize this that since all of these parameters alpha beta delta gamma and j they are positive regardless of the initial price p naught if it is greater or smaller as we saw here regardless if uh, p naught is greater or p star is greater we will get a deviation but since these parameters are positive the negative sign of the exponent which is here it is going to give rise to exponential decay which will eat away all of this deviation no matter positive no matter negative and hence the convergence will take place towards the equilibrium of the market price and the equilibrium that we have here is now considerably uh, con uh, assumed to be dynamically stable so in this way we can uh, make sense of the uh, dynamic stability of uh, um, equilibrium price over time and we have done that by using the um, exponential decay phenomenon which was there in PC that is particular uh, that is the complementary function and now we can also try to uh, see this numerically as you will see the numerical evidence is furnished here uh, you know that this is um, the um, assumed example of the time path uh, this is the equilibrium part this is the complementary part or the deviation part now uh, we are assuming two possibilities that is either it's a positive value or it's a negative value uh, as we saw in the uh, symbolic representation that uh, P naught can be greater or P asterisk can be greater so there will be either a positive value or a negative value so considering the case of positive value and considering the case of negative value in both of the cases we have separately plotted the complementary function and then the overall time path here again complementary function and the overall time path now you can use your calculator and see if these values are correct and uh, when we put the value of time that is time initially 0 and then 1 and 2 and so on when we put the value of time here as 0 we will get 40 because all of this will turn to z uh, 1 because the exponent will be 0 so exponent of uh, 0 will be equal to 1 which when multiplied with 40 will become 40 so you can do this simple exercise of finding all these values what you can observe here is that there is a positive value but it is fading away because of exponential decay as you can see it was 0.73 now it is reducing and it is reaching a level where it is nearly getting equal to zero so exponential decay is happening I'm representing it with ED and uh, the deviation is positive 
for deviation let me use PC uh, now let me jump to the other complementary function which is in case of negative deviation here you can see negative values are engendered uh, because there's a negative sign but the values substituted in T they are again 0 1 2 3 up to so on and you can see there's a negative value but the magnitude of this is decreasing here it was positive 0 0.73 it is minus 0.73 so the negative sign is now showing its effect and the remaining uh, magnitude is now definitely decreasing as you can see it is decreasing as we go ahead so complementary function is decreasing over time this is for sure now let us calculate the overall value uh, that is uh, including the uh, complementary function and also the equilibrium value so when we add 50 into for in 40 it will becomes 90 again 50 added in 0.73 will become 50.732 and similarly 50 is being added so the thing is that the time path which is represented with this uh, whole series of values it is decreasing in terms of value so the deviation uh, is show, uh, it's, it's showing its effect and the time path is coming down coming down means that the journey started from above the equilibrium because the deviation was positive and now we are coming down towards the equilibrium as the value is showing that it is starting from 90 and then coming down to uh, close to 50 which is the value of equilibrium so from 90 the convergence is taking place to 50 which is the value of equilibrium this you can see in the diagram as well here the diagrams may not be readable but these are the same diagrams that you saw before uh, in that process uh, where we developed the framework um, so the main thing to be noted is that it is starting from 90 and then coming down and further down so the deviation numerically as well as diagrammatically is getting verified now let's talk about the negative deviation the negative deviation uh, it is again uh, uh, being considered if it is getting close to the equilibrium or not since 50 is to be added in the negative deviation negative deviation was 40 in which we added 50 so it became 10 in the first example then 50 plus this negative value of uh, minus 0.73 will be less than 50 and uh, when we take the difference of 50 with this value that is we add this negative value in the positive value 50 we will get this expression and then this expression and so on so you can see that the value started from 10 and it is increasing to 49.26 and then 49.98 and then 49.999 and the nines are increasing as we go ahead it means that it is getting close to 50 which is actually the equilibrium so it means that journey started from 10 and it is getting close to 50 and you can see this in the diagram that journey started from 10 and it is getting close to 50 which is the equilibrium so deviation on the whole is decreasing due to which there is convergence again uh, the journey from below the equilibrium is again verified with the help of mathematical or uh, calculations uh, and uh, the diagram so we can summarize this thing in the remarks the positive deviation was there and it started to fade away due to decay of the exponential uh, function that had a negative exponent and the time path slides and converged to the equilibrium that is 50 the word slide is used because you remember the diagram was like f uh, falling uh, in, in a negative slope so we can say it's a kind of slide so the negative deviation in the other case decays again 
again the decay prevails because of the exponential function and exponential decay due to the negative exponent and in this case since the journey started from below the equilibrium it uh, rose and it converged to the equilibrium that is equilibrium 50 as you can remember the diagram was like this so you see that uh, we have substantiated all of this uh, with the help of uh, you know these symbols making sense of this and then using this numerical uh, depiction of the time path and definitely recalling these two parts of the diagram that we um, developed in the framework thank you